Welcome back guys to another one. Today let's have a look at Alpenfold's new series of CPU coolers called the Dolomite with the smallest variant they produce behind me which is a 92mm model and it's 130mm tall which is perfect for like small form factor builds like the NKS M1 etc. Not only that, as you can see, it kind of looks like an Octua U9S, but it's pretty potent because it's gonna give it a proper run for its money because it can handle up to 160 watts of TDP. So. When it comes to small form factor enclosures, the list is quite small for single tower CPU air coolers under 130mm in height, especially at a higher quality tier level. Thus meet the Dolomite, which is the only 92mm variant from this new series, with the other two being 120mm variants, the Advanced and the Premium, that also have RGB. The small brother retails for around 38 euros, which should make it almost half the price of the Noctua U9S, its main competitor. It comes in an all black theme packaging design with everything you need to know printed on all sides. All the parts are nicely secured and divided inside and even the accessory box has the Dolomite Mountains logo on it. Speaking of accessories which are all in matching black, here is a detailed view. As you can see you get an extra set of wire clips if you want to install a second 92mm fan. Notice that the Intel backplate has the securing back bolts and even the washers pre-fitted. Now let's inspect the 92mm Wing Boost 3 fan, which is rated up to 2200 RPM. With the help of its 11 blades, it can push up to 65.4 cubic meters per hour of airflow, with a static pressure of 1.92 mm water column, while not going over 24 decibels of noise output. The rotor is built on hydraulic bearings and takes power from the unsleeved 4-pin PWM 30cm long plug. Each corner on the exhaust side features anti-vibration rubber pads. Finally, here is the Dolomite heatsink that measures 125 by 95 by 85 mm or 65 without a fan, which will make it perfect for cases like the NKS M1. It weighs 588 grams including the fan. It's built with the help of 39 aluminum fins that are held into place via four 6 mm thick heat pipes. The Dolomite has this offset asymmetrical design where the main fan will be slotted here that will ensure 100% compatibility with the RAM slots. The top plate has this matte finish with the caps for all of the heat pipe which gives it this industrial cool and rugged look. There is a small cutout across the middle section of the fins on the exhaust side of the heatsink in order to access the securing base plate bolt. Lastly, the base plate is made out of copper and features an almost perfect mirror polish. Alpenfond dubs its new mounting system the Rock Mount 4 which as we will see is very straightforward on the AM4 socket. Thus the first step is to retain the stock AMD backplate after you remove the front plastic motherboard brackets. Then attach the plastic spacers. Next step is to bolt down the metal brackets making sure that they are orientated outwards the socket. Apply the thermal paste and then secure the heatsink from both sides. Thus here is the finished look and if you are after a stealth clean build the Dolomite will be perfect for such an endeavor. Also it will look even better in an appropriate sized case, not the hanger that is my testing PC. Regarding any potential clearance, well, there is none in any direction. Testing wise, same as per any CPU cooler video review that I do. First up is the Cinebench R15 test. Its main competitor is the Noctua U9S, which it beats with a small nudge because its fan can spin higher by 200 RPM. At the same time, it's very close to the D9L, which has a dual tower design. Cinebench R20 is a more modern and up-to-date multi-core benchmark suit, so naturally we will see a bigger load and thus a larger temperature figure than the R15. Here the Dolomite still holds its slot in between the two Noctuas, which again are more expensive. Despite the fact that ADA64 should provide us with the highest stress test scenario, R20 proves to be just as stressful and thus the hierarchy is preserved once more. Nothing too drastic happens in Rise of the Tomb Raider because it's not as stressful as a synthetic torture test, but a great indicator of real life usage. Then the noise output is reasonably good up until 50 to 60% RPM. After that it's not as quiet as the Noctua equivalent, but it's understandable since the Dolomites fan will spin even higher. Also here is a quick sound for you guys to listen to.
Well, there you have it guys, the Dolomite is a highly welcome surprise in the small form factor builds department, since it offers the same cooling performance as an Octua U9S, with a small penalty in south output, but at almost half the price. It ticks all the right boxes in this niche and given its asking price when compared to anything in this quality bracket, makes the Dolomite a no-brainer. Thanks for watching guys and leave a comment and a thumbs up if you liked it, and see you in the next one. Alex out.